Hello everyone, this is Overmind, and welcome back to another StarCraft II replay cast. This is a Masters League game that is being played by a random and a Protoss player, and it was entitled, A Surprise Leads to an Interesting Game. Over here on the left side of the map, we have of course our Protoss player, Moscow the Bear, from Clan HOA, uh, which sounds like pretty much the best homeowners association to belong to ever. And over here on the right side of the map, we have Ake, our Zerg player. Now, I believe I've already encountered what the surprise in this game is going to be. And you audience, have you noticed the chat? I know it's hard to pay attention to while I am talking at you, but here it is. Good luck, have fun! And Moscow the Bear, spelling out, good luck, have fun. And Ake, who rolled random stating boldly that he is going to be Terran this game. Terran. Moscow the Bear? Thanks. Thanks. Oh, Ake. Ake isn't Terran. Ake's got his pool going down. Ake's gonna rush. Alright. Ake's gonna rush. And I actually, I wonder where the moment is exactly when it is revealed that Ake is Zerg. Is it gonna be with this nice scouting overlord? Can't see it yet. Can't see it yet. Oh! Oh, it's just out of range. Uh, Moscow the bear actually has his base set up pretty well if he's going to play Terran. Looks like he's going to go ahead and expand here. He's got these, uh, this pylon and the gateway, as well as the pylon and the cyber core, walling off all but these two little spaces, which would really help against, say, a Reaper harass if your opponent were Terran. Um, but his opponent is not Terran. I actually, I bet this scouting probe is going to be the first one to. Uh, he is the first one to see it! The very frightening Zerglings who have just finished being upgraded to speedlings running out across the map as well as this pool and the one base zerg player Ake. Moscow's got some tough decisions to make. For example, I wonder if this is going to get cancelled. Uh, I might if it were me. He quickly moves his probes away from the attacking force. He has this nice mothership core here able to help defend since zerglings cannot hit air. Pylon going down, completely block off this side. Probes staying away, taking a few pot shots. The Zergling's very confused. A nice sentry here who's going to be able to guardian shield most of them. Or I'm sorry, not guardian shield, force field. Ugh. Most of them into this sort of nice reaper proof area. Probe's gonna go ahead and try to clean up some of these Zerglings as well. The sentry is taken out, which is really unfortunate because Sentries are great at hurting Zerglings around. Zergling attack on this expansion here. And it looks like there is enough energy in this now for a Photon Overcharge in the main base. And the probes are moving out, and... Photon Overcharge. Probes moving back. Excellent. The Nexus is now punishing all of the Zerglings who dare to interfere with its probes. Or at least it will be for the next minute. As it fires bolts of lightning and anger. Looks like the Zergling's moving back. A single zealot here on the ramp, which is not quite adequate enough to block it off, although it looks like there is a chrono-boosted zealot coming out, which should be able to help hold the ramp, or at least keep things from running up it so very readily. The Zerglings are going to go ahead and come back. I'm not sure if there's too much that can be done about this base here. Oh, zealots, you do not want to run down there. They'll run right up your ramp, they'll kill you. Ugh. Looks like this base is going to go ahead and be killed off. Mothership 4 going to go ahead and take some pod shots at those awful little zerglings. Warp gate just finishing now. Warping in a couple units. Ake is putting down his nice natural expansion and preparing to macro up after that early and, let's face it, fairly devastating rush. In the Lost tab, we can see that the Lost resources are almost double on the Protoss side, which is not great for Moscow. We'll see if he can recover during the rest of the game. We do note 
that after all of that excitement and fun early game, both of these players are pretty low on their money, which is great. If you come back from atta an attack, whether you're attacking or being attacked and you have that little money, it either means that your economy is shot, which does not appear to be the case with either player, or that you've been spending your money well, which is what you want to do. Looks like a scouting zergling is going to see this force. Probe moving out to go ahead and uh, probably build a proxy just to back up this attack. And it's going to be immediately spotted by this overlord, so if this fails, it'll probably get cleaned up pretty quickly. Um, but if he can use it to apply some pressure back at it, at his opponent, that'll be really great. Defensive structures going down. Ooh, Time Warp misses all of its targets as the Zerglings pull back. A second proxy going down here with the added advantage that um, Ake is not going to be able to expand here until he kills Moscow's pylon off. Some poking from the Mothership core. Some poking, poking back from the Queen. And it looks like this fa force is going to go ahead and back off for the moment, which is probably the correct decision. Scouting Zergling does see this expansion going down for Moscow, who is re-establishing his natural. Got a couple, couple nice sentries here for the force fields to sort of keep that area clear of awful little Zerglings. Speaking of awful little zerglings, there's going to be an engagement down here. Force fields going down all around to keep them from getting a full surround on those wonderful, wonderful zealots, uh, which are so weak against the billions of zerglings that Ake has made. And the force fields are victorious. Although it doesn't look like he's really going to be able to do too much with these burrowing spine crawlers right here at the front. And he's probably going to have to just move back and defend his natural. So hopefully at this point the game will stabilize a little bit. We're 11 minutes into the game. Lots of harassment already. Looks like Moscow's got another warp gate uh, just finishing up. He's building another gateway here, which is going to help block off this area, which is nice. A Nidus network coming up for Ake. who has not taken out either of the proxy pylons thus far. Hallucinated Phoenix gonna go ahead and take a look at the base. We'll see if he sees that. He does in fact see that Nidus and... Oh, but the Nidus is going down now! Here's the Nidus Worm killed off by that immortal. Excellent. Take a second Nidus Worm going down here on the low ground. Gonna be able to shuttle units very quickly between Ake's main base and Moscow's base. A very intimidating force of zerglings, roaches, and queens coming out of that. And, oh, oh. Another Nidus worm back in the main base. And it looks like they are going to filter back up into the main where the original worm was. Photon overcharge goes down. Very effective time warp. Force fields all around, splitting the army apart. Looks like the Robo Bay does go down. Both armies taking heavy losses. Although Ake does back off after leaving a creep tumor in his opponent's base, which is going to spread all over and prevent Moscow from building there. Since his robo is down and he does not at this time have an observer, he's going to have to wait until he can get one to clear this out. Looks like Moscow is going to go ahead and take his third, though. Ake is going to take his fourth. Looks like he did take that pylon out as well. More gateways, morphing into warp gates. A lone, vigilant stalker guarding against the possibility of yet another Nidus worm coming up in the base. Probably not enough to actually kill this guy if he attacked it, but certainly enough to uh, do something if a Nidus worm came up. Or at least see something if a Nidus worm came up. This base is finally up. The probes are being transferred over. Looks like this base is saturated. And this third here is not yet mining, although it, with Zerg it is very valuable as a production facility, since your hatcheries are also your producing buildings. And here we have those mining drones to correct me. 
we have a nice Stargate here. And it looks like that Creep Tuner was killed off, so he does have his Robo up uh, over here. Which kind of makes sense because his base was filled with Creep at the time. Could not build it in his main. So behind this nice little barricade does make a lot of sense. A real scouting phoenix coming out of the Stargate, making sure that none of those pesky Zerg bases are popping up anywhere that they shouldn't. And it looks like he's getting research for Storm in his nice, shiny Templar archives. Fourth going down for Moscow, who's recovering really well for someone who's been harassed this much. Uh, it looks like a very terrifying Roach and Corruptor force moving in. Storm just finishing to decimate those Roaches, who are not so scary anymore. Uh, corruptors are being targeted now that a large portion of the Roach force has been eliminated and Stalker's blinking forward. Another base going down for Ake, though. Looks like this force is going to move around across this bridge. Yes? Alright. Attacking across the bridge. More roaches and force fields dividing the roaches. Lots of roaches taken out. Much, uh, presumably green blood is spilled. And we see the terror that is a late game Protoss player as so many of those roaches go down. Overlords being taken out. Units being grouped up here. This base going down. A little bit of a shuffle here as Moscow gets his bearings, moves his army around, and brings in reinforcements. Keeps everything together in that nice, uh, as it is called, the Protoss Ball of Death keeping all your units together to make sure that they are extra powerful in combination. Some of that creep is going to be killed off. A number of storms and force fields separating these roaches out very skillfully, actually. More creep tumors. Looks like this base might fall? No? No, he's gonna go ahead and push up into the nat- No? 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 Not the natural. Never mind. This base is going to go down. Moscow is keeping even me on my toes as I watch this game. Lots going on in here, heading into the natural. Really starting to get to the heart of the Zerg base. And it looks like... Oh! <laughs> and now we see the terror that is a Zerg late game. We see the Brood Lords, which are the absolute scourge, peril, and problem of every single late game Protoss player ever. Those terrifying flying machines heading off across the map as we have a retreat from Moscow. Grouping up, ready to defend his many, many bases. Although at this point, uh, several bases did get devastated in that attack. Ake is rebuilding this one. Staying well away from those very scary broodlords. Do not want to engage those as yet. Number of pylons going down up here, making it easier to attack his upper base. Looks like there's a big engagement in the middle, though. Broodlords are being target-fired, even as their little broodlings devastate the army. Most of the broodlords are gone, and that's the GG. Alright. Oh, I'm actually really glad I cast that game. I hope you guys had fun watching me cast it. Uh, big nail biter there, since I actually didn't watch this all the way before I cast it. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a good night.